Hello and welcome back to Foundry. In our last episode, we set up the, uh, we reset up the the science, and we also expanded the smelting of the the uh, technum rods, so that we now have a decent supply of them, and we are also making a lot of science. And as you can see, the science is backed up, because it's been about a, a game day since the last time, uh, since the end of the last episode, because I did a little bit of, of work off camera. Uh, I expanded power greatly. Uh, I think we had maybe five or six solar panels in the same batteries, and I've added a bunch more of each and even even more of the solar panels. I also expanded um, smelting here for the uh, for the xenoferrite so that we have uh, a full belt capability, um, even if we're not currently doing that. And the reason for the full belt capability is because of the machine parts. Right now, we're using all the machine parts we possibly can. Um, or all, yeah, we're using all the machine parts, parts we're creating, 40 per minute, to, um, to make uh, the signs we're making. So we actually need to add another one of these uh, in order to get, uh, in order to, to be able to use, use them for anything else which we will do when we need to. Uh, we have a crap ton of science made. Um, the uh, thing we researched the last time, which was the inventory capacity is completely done. Uh, so I do have a much larger inventory now. I think another row, I think is what it was. Yeah, eight, of, eight additional slots. I got another row out of it. And we're just gonna uh, do a couple of unlocks here. Mining drill speed should be good. Uh, we could do railings, I think would be good. Research Lab 2, we should probably do pretty soon. We also could look at the faster conveyor belts. They uh, they go up to 320. And then from there, we can have the uh, distributor 2s, which will handle the um, the faster belt uh, merging and splitting. Uh, the container we don't actually want because it's it's just a large box. I, don't, I mean, I'll want it when I want the larger logistics containers, but I don't want it right now. Uh, we have the... Um, the door, which I'm not sure what I would use it for at this moment. And then we, of course, have a Research Lab 2, which unlocks a huge part of the tech tree here. Uh, massive, massive part of the tech tree here. So we're going to have to do that one at some point here. But I think... No, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Uh, you can see this is the whole tree. We never actually looked at this. So we have a couple things over here that have their the prerequisites. Uh, railings are already unlocked. But most everything is blocked behind Research Lab 2. So maybe we could just do a couple more of these uh, like first tier things, like signs. Signs give us the ability to put signs up. Well, let's, let's all be surprised at that. Oh, but they do have some markup abilities. That's nice. Okay, cool. And then uh, we'll do the door. Still have 20 packs left. What was the last thing that uh, was not... Either not a second tier or not requiring this the container? Okay, we'll do that then too. And we're at 21 now. So that'll get done in just a few moments. So uh, I think we're going to have to get to research or science, research 2 before we can actually do uh, any more building, which maybe I should have done that first then. Um, but I think we're okay. We could probably destroy these primitive furnaces now. I think we can. Do it. Destroy two primitive furnaces. Thank you. Uh, oh, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to set up some logistic containers here. To put the uh, machinery parts and the electronics, electro electronic components into. So let's do, um, is it control C? Yes. And then we can do that. And then we can do that. And unlike um, xenoferrite and technum, these are not going to continue through. They're just going to be an end. They're just going to end here. So. We just need a bunch of belts, which we probably need to make more. Um, actually, we could set up belts or power lines um, to be able to be made uh, automatically. That might not be a bad deal, given how many belts we're using, for example. Uh, I need more of everything. Well, I need more xenoferrite, which is right here, Wally. Jeez. It's dumb. Here? We need two stacks of those. Two stacks. And here we go. Nope, nope, not there. There we go. Here, 
And then you're gonna go, not made yet, there. Uh, let's see. This way, this way, ran out of belts. Yeah, I don't think it would hurt to make automate belts. There we go. But we can at least stockpile some of these other things. That way we can come and grab them instead of having to make them by hand. And I'm going to set this one to have one locked slot as well as this one. Ah, container's done. All right, let's go ahead and do uh, set up the research to do the research. Yeah, all we have else to unlock here is belt right now. That's going to take 50, so that's going to take a few minutes to do. It's getting dark again, but I do have lights up. I did put a couple more lights up. I don't know if we're if we're good on lights yet or not, but we could be. Those are pretty cool looking. Those electronics components. If we wanted to set up belts, uh, what would that take? Machinery parts and conveyors. I'd like to have them nearby here, like right here at the start, and I think we could fit them in here still. Let's um. Let's, let's get boring here. Okay, this is a bit faster, but indeed. Oh, how much I got here? Well, 15, so that's 5 wide, I guess. Although, to be fair, maybe I don't want the belt here because pretty soon we're going to need to make second tier belts, and those are going to be a little bit tougher to uh, uh, just cram in here. That's not what I wanted. Cancel. One of these. Oops. One of these. Just making all the prereqs because I didn't pick them up. I have a lot of biomass from clearing trees to put in those still smelters over there. And I probably can get rid of these biomass generators too, but... I don't know. Uh, I think that'll be fine. And so you're going to make these belts, at least, the regular conveyor belts. And I'm going to put these into a, a logistics box behind here. So actually I need to expand that a bit bigger. Um, so these are going to need 40 plates and 20 machine parts. Okay. Uh, we need to have one, two, three, four of these. Should I have gone over by a little more? I probably should have. And I do need to come back further. I hope this is uh, reasonably visible with the lights and the flashlight. Um, now let's do this. Get that back. I don't know if that's going to be enough. It might not be enough yet. Uh, depth. I don't think it is. Go. This up. Go back down over here. A little bit more space between. And then... Yeah, this is just going to be enough for the... I need two more. Get right up to the edge of the uh, technum here. That's fine. It's interesting that that's short enough that it's not blocking the power line. Okay, and then this can go... I guess right there. Loader on each side. 
And then a loader here in the back. Transfer into that box. Okay, so we need to have... Uh, uh, plates and the mechanical parts there. Let's see. This... This is where the turn would be. So then we have two for the ramp and two for the splitter, I think. Really, you're going to do that? Oh, okay, there we go. There, and then ramp down. Yep, perfect. Then you go through, and, or back in and through. That'll take care of this. And then we also need to have this one here for the parts. Bits and pieces. Uh, this is the ramp. Slope, slope. One, two. It's a good thing I did space this out a little bit more. Uh, I guess I need one more of these. Finally, we have this. And we have that. And that should do it. Yep. We are making our own conveyor belts now. I'm going to shorten this up at least by... Uh, let's go... I don't know how high these things stack. Let's just do four stacks for now. Just because I want to see how high they stack. About half done with that research. Let's see, what else can we make? We could set up all of these. Um, they take the conveyors and they, they take machinery parts and these take electronic components. Uh, these take plates, machinery parts, and electronic components. These take plates, machinery parts, and electronic components. Just takes twice as many plates to make the reach. Don't need to make those. We could automate these as well. I see, I'm not sure what all to automate, though. Do we really need to automate things like the buildings? I don't know. Could. Um, but I don't know that there's really... Pretty, oh, that's that's a much bigger container. I want to see what this, how big this container even is. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. <laughs> a little bit. So this one is... Uh, one by two... This one is two by one, two, three, four by two tall. The so four times two times two is 16. And this is, and that holds 32 slots, and this is two, and it holds eight slots. So it's definitely, it's actually less dense. Oh yeah, we're making the belt. Oh, we could automate, um, maybe we should automate building blocks too. That might be useful. Draining all the machine parts. I think we should double our machine parts build. Yep, I think so. This is the only part that gets kind of tedious, is the is the editing of the ground. That's something that I could, um, I could do without. And, um, you know, people have said for, like, Satisfactory that, you know, maybe they would like to be able to do this. And I think that they wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, other than 
the bare essentials, I, I think it would get um, it would get too tedious for most people to do. Let's go gather some more stuff. Still making all the things. I'm not sure how loud those actually are either, uh, these machines. Definitely should have picked up a stack of machine parts and a stack of electronic components too. Far apart did I put those two? Two blocks? Two blocks. Okay, and then. Ooh, not that many. Alright, these stack in hundreds, so that's that's probably enough belts. I can always get more later if I feel like I need them. And then this is output. And this gets set to machinery parts. So that means we're now consuming 80, so half of our uh, of our plates production for making machinery parts alone. And then the other half goes into things like belts. Actually, that's it right now. Why does science look like it stopped? It's not. Wait, this one is. Oh, it's not getting any machinery parts. Because I'm starving it out by making all the belts. Yeah. Well, and... Going down into storage, too. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't store that much. Because right now, all the machinery parts that get made, uh, well, since that's all backed up, ha it all comes this way, and then half of it goes into making belts. And then half of half, so a quarter, goes into making science, and then a quarter continues on down to the end. Wait a minute, did I set? I did toggle that, okay, good. Oh, I screwed this up, though. Try that again. Now we'll have now we'll actually have twice as many. There we go. Much better. And now this one's going to have to output all those stockpiled. So it's gonna jam up this belt for a little while. And then this one's gonna stockpile for a little while. But that's fine. At least it's daytime now. Interesting. I didn't think I did a double bounce there, but apparently I did. Let's go take a look at how these guys are mining. Okay, so they have hit bottom here, uh, but there is more uh, more to collect. I'm not sure if that is, let's see, V for analyzer? Yeah, there's Technomore there. So they'll, um, they'll, pick, they'll pick that up, uh, whatever they can. But you can see it is, it is deeper here in the center, which is good. Uh, let's go over and look at the Xenoferrite too, because I'm mining a crap ton of Xenoferrite. I have six miners going right now. And they have torn the crap out of this. Holy cow. Yeah, they're going to town on it. And they will get underneath um, a little bit, at least. I want to do a little bit, little bit of testing that with, an, with another patch later. But I think we could actually potentially put the miner over top of the patch. And they'll kind of go under and, and get underneath there. But I want to I wanna do some, some testing of it uh, later. But I did the same kind of split balance thing here. Uh, I had to do a little bit of spaghetti to get it to work. But um, this one is, the middle one's being split in half. Um, and then uh, getting merged in with one of the others. And the same thing here. And then the same thing on that side. This one's a little bit cleaner because I had a little bit more space. I should have pushed these out that way a little bit further, but I didn't feel like moving them at that point. So we have lots of, uh, lots of xenof xenoferrite plates. 
and I merge the two halves here so that we would at least get each one moving roughly the same speed. Um, but that one is, or two of these are completely backed up. And I think that's just because we're not really using, I don't know why though. These should be running at like full speed right now. Like there shouldn't be this stop at start. Because those are moving non-stop. And it says it'll carry 80 per minute, or 160 per minute, which is what this should be. So I don't really understand... It's, it's like... It's like those belts really aren't 160. It's like they're only 100 and... Or like they're only 80. Because... Yeah, it's like they're only 100, they're only 80, they're not 160. Hmm. Well, uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. But that was uh, the Xenoferrite work that I did off camera. I figured it was it was kind of repetitive from what we'd done before, so it kind of made sense to um, to not do it to not do it on camera. Let's take this out. Let's just push this all into making something. Uh, we should have all 400... No, we don't have all 400 belts yet. We're working on it, though. But at least then we have half of it going to belts and half of it coming to science. Which is what we actually... All we science can actually use anyways is half of the machine parts because we're having, we have two now uh, working. Yeah, we could definitely make uh, cable, power cable. Uh, it would be a similar setup to um, electronic components, except that uh, one technum rod becomes two wire coil, and then two wire coil become two power lines, so one technum rod becomes two power lines. Um, and we could do uh, some kind of, you know, build like we did for the belts for that, where we have a storage be uh, next to it or by it. I probably should have put, could have put, like, moved this up by one and then had the output come out to the side. And then, uh, that way I didn't have to have it pushed so far back. But that's okay. I only have a few more, eight more uh, science packs to go. And yeah, we can see the much better coming through here now. So this is where, like, in Factoria, we have those... Oh, wait a minute. Priorities. <laughs> okay, I'll put priority to the to the right. Look at me. I found switches. All right. Let's do that. So now, it will only send along to there once, once this is backed up. And right now, it looks like about three quarters... I think it actually is three quarters because this is 20 and we're making 80. Yeah, so um, about a, only about a quarter of it's coming into the belt anyway, so three quarters of it gets to come along here. So this will get backed up. Actually, it already is backing up, which is great. Sort of. Sort of backing up, that is. And then it'll continue along down the bus. Move along home. Hoping to actually see it backing up yep, and overflowing. There it goes. Nice. All right. Good job, uh, meter dynamics with the uh, priority switches and all the stuff I was looking for, you've had. There you have, so that's good. Actually, I think there was something I was looking for that you don't have yet. But, I mean, given that it's this early, doing well. And there's Research Lab 2. So now, what does that mean? That means that all we can research in here... 
Okay, so most of this stuff requires actually Research Lab 2. Except for some reason Research Lab 3. Um, but like this one needs us to have built Research Lab 2 to finish this research. Oh, okay, so you just have to build the Research Lab. Uh, the walkways require Science Packs 2. It's interesting that you can even like select these here. Unless Research Lab 2 is only takes in the the red science packs. Ooh, steel. Nice. Let's go build this over here in the open. Uh, once it's done. I guess I could have once again picked up a stack of the stuff. Machinery parts and electronic components. Oh boy. And now it's 10 second craft time. All right. So you take 400 building blocks, 200 electronic components and 400 machinery parts. So we should ought to make building blocks. Yes, we should. Um, but I don't know where I want to automate them. I could automate them at the end. Uh, they take... I'm kind of wondering, though, if... Or how this works. Maybe I shouldn't automate them yet. Maybe I should just make them. Eight, nine, ten. Will be... Ten times five times five is 250, so I do need more stuff. And then... That'd be good. And then it was how many machinery parts? And 200 electronic components, 400 machinery parts. 200 electronic components, 400 machinery parts. And yeah, we're not even using electronic components that much right now, anyway. Alright, so that should be... Should have been 250, plus whatever I had before. 275, 300. One, two, three, four. Give me another hundred. At least they craft fast. That is an advantage. Nearly there. There we go. And construction is finished. That unlocks Science Pack 2. Steel, which... Gets us Ignium. And advanced machinery parts. Okay. Um, so these now. Conveyor belts and building blocks for Science Pack 2. Oh boy. Um, so can I feed Science Pack 1 into this building? No. This only takes Science Pack 2. So we continue feeding Science Pack 1 into the Science Pack 1 building, and we feed Science Pack 2 into the Science Pack 2 building. Because otherwise it would show me another slot here for... No, maybe? Oh yeah, it shows it here. Okay. So it can only take these, which is interesting that these have four loaders. Because why would you need four loaders when you can only put one Science Pack in? 
I mean, there's obviously at least three science packs total. That's weird. Just to see. Let me go get a couple of these. Oh, one is enough, actually. That's all I need. Just to see. Uh, presently, we have... 22? Yeah, so I can't put them in here. Okay. So then I put belts in the wrong spot. I should build belts elsewhere. I should build belts down at the end where I, wherever I set this up at. Um, but yeah, it's going to be down here near the end. Uh, we need to drill out this biomass and all this... Uh, all these bits here. I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording for a little bit and I'm going to drill out like a, a nice swath of this here and uh, that way we can build this out. I'm not going to step down, at least not yet. I may step down at some point, but I don't know that I'm going to. I think I'm just going to stay up here in the air and I'll use the, uh, the stairs, wherever we found those at, here, if I need to climb back up onto the platform. So I will pause here and I'll be back momentarily. And welcome back. So I uh, dug out the, the floor there, the, the sand there, and I put a bit of a floor in. I also disconnected the uh, the belt for for the for the belts, so that uh, we can move this down to that end, because it needs to be down there where we're going to actually make the the red science packs. Um, what I think I'm going to do is set it up kind of like this down there, and. Um, Let's see, we're going to want to have one more of these, one more of these, a bunch of these, etc. And I'm going to let this, I'm actually going to take some of these out, or actually I'm just going to let it, I'm going to let it make, oops, what it, um, what it has stuff to make with. And then, uh, we'll pick it all up, but I can reset it up down here right away. And I've already put down some of the platform here, but we can keep going. See, this is, and I changed the way this is working, by the way, too. So, like between the, the builds, I put put the sand back in, and I only have a connector here of two by two for the power re for power reasons. So let's see here: one, two, three, four, five, six. I missed one. Should we go seven? And then we can do this build here or this thing here uh, over by two. And then we can do this, and then we can do this, and this will be, maybe I should do this the other way too. Let's do this the other way, the way that I talked about also. Uh, let's put one belt there, configure this for belts, oops, and then configure this one for the output, and then we'll put the bin back behind here, oops. Not what I wanted. Cancel. That's what I wanted. And uh, we'll go. We'll go just two spaces away, I think. And I want it to be aligned over here in the side. Yep. And this will go here, and then we'll have the uh, the belt for the output to go like this. Obviously, I want to do four spaces blocked out still. And I probably built this too far back, but we're going to have a belt coming out of here and a belt coming out of the next one or the other one where the, where the, uh, the, the blocks of me, the floor blocks are made. So we'll want to have that at least. Uh, I may square this off somehow. I haven't decided yet. Uh, let's see. We need plates and machine parts. So let's take the plates in here. Uh, you can go like this. And then we need a ramp here. And then we can do a splitter. Distributor. I'm in the wrong spot. Never mind. 
Just kidding. Okay, Wally. There you go. Guess I need to drill this out. This goes here. Distributor goes there. Belt goes there. And that's you. And then this one here continues along some distance. It goes into here. There. Then you go here. Too many distances. And this one goes there. Okay. And I want to go get these guys out of here. Take all. I guess I need to put them in here. One, two, three, four. I have a few belts in my inventory now. That's fine. Let's take this apart. So we had some machine parts left over, which I'm not surprised at because uh, it takes less machine parts than it does. Actually, I should do Control Z. Click. And drag over to here. You and we'll do control Z and drag over to here. Oops, I did too much. Do too much, sir. And I don't know what to do with this. I may take this up and fill it back in with dirt. I don't or sand. I don't know. All right. So the next bit would be to set up. Uh, we could either set up the manufacturing of the building blocks, or we could set up the manufacturing of science pack two. Now uh, this needs five. Conveyors and 10 building blocks every cycle. The conveyors are made two every second at the character. And these are made five every 1.7 seconds, which is about three every second. Probably. Two every second, three every second. And this is made... It would need more like two and four. But we'd probably be okay. Because we want belts to stock... Well, we want both to stockpile anyway. Okay, so... Huh, huh, huh. What am I out of? Xenoferrite. It's night time again. So I think we'll do uh, we'll do the assembler for the science next, I think. So I'm going to do actually just my double row of blocks like this as my kind of frontage linkage. And then we'll do two spaces here. And this needs to be over by seven. Um, and roughly the same amount like that. Uh, this one? Like that. Is there a limit to how much this transformer can transform? Five megawatts. Oh, well, we're not even close to that. Uh, we're at... Yeah. We've got a long way to go yet. Okay. Never you mind. Well, I should probably put a light in here somewhere. Uh, light. There. Maybe a light here. Yeah, I should probably push that one back, too.
Yeah, I think I'll push them all back. Maybe they're kind of up against where the machine is. Maybe arbitrary. Okay. And then I think what I'm going to do is take these out, and they'll come across. They can come across the dirt. Actually, they could come across... Yeah. They can come across like this. And then into... Here, like this, I think. And then the other one will come around the other side. Yep, gonna need stairs here. Hmm. Oh, that's creepy. Let's see. Yep, floating platforms, here we come. I think that's enough, though. Uh, we need another assembler for this. And did I make a box? I did make a box. And I think I'm going to put the lab just back behind here. Instead of having it in line on the bus. There's not really any point. I don't think. Well, I fell. Yeah, that's going to happen a lot. Let's do it like this. Side on. That way I can see what I'm doing. And then this is going to make... These blocks. So plates and rods. Uh, we can do one on this side and one on this side. This belt can come out to somewhere around in there. That'll be the, the rods. And this will be plates coming out a bit further. I don't know how far. Get rid of this tree. Tentacle. Pretickle. Got lots of belts, that's good. Belts are delicious. Uh, ramp, ramp. Think there. Ramp, please. And a couple of distributors. Okay, well, you need to go get electronic components. There. Odds. Good. And then we do plates. Too far, but that's fine. There. And one more there and you and that should start up the other stuff uh, we need one more of these for now bingo All right yeah that's yeah Let's see. Ooh, I should have done this differently. Take this out. Move it. Back one. Nope. Deleted too much that time. There. This can go here. We can put our uh, Logi bin. Two? Yeah, two spaces away. Here. And then this can go wrong spot. There. This can go here. Fell again. There. And then I need to get back up there. So that I can set up that as an output. Oh, those are cool looking. Um, I'm 
We'll limit it for now. Let's see. One, two, three. This one actually should be turned. It's fine. Here. And then there. And that should start this up. Bingo. Alright, let's put in one more lamp here. And then we just need to put the um, the lab back here someplace. We'll have an output loader like this. And uh, I'm assuming that's going to be the same 16 by 16, which means I need to crap ton more of these. What do I have in the box? Nice. Uh, let's take out some of these, maybe. this way by was it that big maybe it wasn't I actually don't know where I'm at with that size. Um, let's go here. Do I have enough room? Oh yeah, plenty of room. Demolition. There. And then here. Uh, I can't even see. Okay, I went one too wide. I want to turn it around this way. Uh, there. Let's add some more and I can always uh, take it out. Let's see, give me two more of those and take this out too. Stand up. Maybe I can stand up here even. That might give me a better uh, perspective. There we go. And let's put it uh, right there. Yep. So I definitely can take off one end of this. Control Z. You go all the way to here. Oh, it's okay. It's bigger than I thought it was. That's oh, that's only 13 there. Okay. In that case, let's come out here. Oops. Uh, I hate it when it does that. Take that out. Yeah, it was 16. Okay. Here we go. Beautiful. Now we can go here. Push this stuff back in. I spent some of those building blocks. Give me those. There we go. And finally, we can hook up one of these if we had one. And we can hook up some of these. There. And there. And we have red science packs. Now, we want to do the research for God only knows what. 
Drone miner too, that would be nice. I'm assuming it's just higher drone cargo capacity and mining speed. Elevator. Ooh. Assembler two. Faster. Gosh, I don't know. Let's um scanning the map for Technem Xenoferrite. And I don't know what the new thing was we unlocked. The Ignium. Ignium or rubble. Hmm. I think we'll leave this here, actually. And in the uh, next episode, we will uh, we'll take a look at the first at the red science and decide on something we want to make. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.